hey guys welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new to my channel welcome to my channel and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you today in this video i am going to go through snu admission process snu is seoul national university in seoul in south korea so i will go through admission guideline and also at the end of the video i will put some small video of me and my friend having kind of small interview and this friend he was my senior in my high school which i graduated in south korea so i asked him some basic questions about the snu life and snu admissions so if you want to see the video stay tuned and before going through the admission guideline please don't forget to subscribe to my channel Turn on your bell notification so you won't miss my new videos and also don't forget to put thumbs up if this video was informative or is going to be informative. So let's start! This guideline is a bit, you know, hard to understand a bit for me because when I looked at KAIST admission guideline, it was so well organized, but this one is like mm, not really organized, but let's go. Okay, I am having here 2020 fall undergraduate admissions guide for international students. So I'm gonna read from this guideline and I will put the screenshots here so you can screenshot it or you can just look at it in their website and all the websites all the links will be in the description box so don't forget to check them out also small disclaimer i am i am not a snu student okay so if you're gonna have questions about life or about admission process and so on please please i advise you directly contact snu because they will give you all information needed and I don't want to give false information or make you confused so please email them directly okay let's start let's see admission timeline so basically there are like six steps but four four of them are the most important for us the first one is online application then submission of documents performance tests is like if you are applying for college of fine arts department of physical education and music like those things and then the fourth step is announcement of admission decision okay and another is like registration for your tuition payment and so on so let's see the programs that snu offers they have lots of departments like lots of departments where when i did kais kais has only like science departments like basically for research purpose um, okay so it has college of humanities college of social sciences natural sciences nursing business administration college of engineering agriculture and life sciences college of fine arts college of education of human ecology of veterinary medicine of music medicines and liberal studies basically everything that you like but actually i didn't see the college of law law school but okay let's start so i kind of made it a bit simple so that you understand what is going on because i couldn't understand for the from the first time so i asked my friend to explain me a bit as a new admissions have two types of admissions international admission one and international admissions two in case of international admissions one is for foreign citizenships and parents basically you and your parents should be should be foreigners and for international admissions two you or your parents have korean citizenship so it's like basically for those students who are korean but studied abroad for a long time but in this video, I'm gonna focus only for foreign citizenship parents. SNU admissions have spring and fall semesters. For spring, spring starts from March and fall semester, it starts in September. And to know the exact dates when the application starts and so on, just check the website. When you apply for SNU, you should make sure that you choose your major. 
And then when you choose your major, you can check the website and also can see the courses that are taught in English. If you know Korean, it's great because most of the classes are in Korean. So if you know Korean, then it's fine. But if you don't know Korean and you want to study in English, just check the website and see the courses that are taught in English. And then you need to do online document submissions. There you put your personal information, academic information, recommenders information, counselors information. So basically all the important information should be submitted uh, through online admissions. And for you, your recommenders information, please make sure that you write your recommenders email or any contacts correctly so that when you pay for your admission fee, they will send link to your recommender so that your recommender can go through that link and write the letters. If you want to know what's in personal information form or recommenders information form, you can go to the website and there you can find the... Basically, they have kind of template what's in there so you can check them out and see what should you write before the admission start. Okay, let's see our requirements. Submit a proof of either Korean or English proficiency test. If you have TOEFL or IELTS, you can submit them. But if you don't have TOEFL or IELTS, but you have TOPIC, which is Korean proficiency test of like knowing what's your level of Korean language, you can submit that. But if you have both of them, you can submit both of them. I guess that's a good thing to submit both of them. But if you don't have either of them, you need to email SNU to make sure what should you do. So the required documents. The most important documents are high school transcripts and your graduation certificate. And you should upload them online and you should send them by post. Both of them, okay? If you didn't graduate by the time of application or like the application process started, you need to submit official document of that you are studying in that specific school and expected date of your graduation, okay? And also you can submit your transcripts even though if you don't have like all your transcripts for like six semesters, I guess, you can submit whatever you have. Then you need to submit scanned copies of your parents' passports and your passport, okay? If you don't have passport, then you can upload a copy of any type of official document which proves your citizenship. It proves that you are not Korean, so you're from a different country, but make sure that country ID card isn't recognized as proof of nationality, okay? You cannot send your country ID. Uh, another document is that you need to submit document proving the relationship between you and your parents. Those are the most important documents, yes. And the supplementary documents are SAT, ACT, IB and so on. And they should be sent from official site. For example, if you have SAT, you need to send your scores through official site, which is college board. In case of other supplementary documents, you can just send your scanned copies. If this is really important. If you're gonna apply for College of Arts or College of Music, Department of PE, Physical Education, they will ask you to submit portfolio or records of achievements. So these three specific colleges and departments have their own rules too. So when you do your uh, online application, these colleges will email you and they will ask you your portfolio or achievement, what you have done. So please make sure that one too. Submitted documents will not be returned in any circumstances. Please be careful with that too. What if you send your, like, your passport? <laughs> Do not send your passport, send your copy of passport. Also, please write your application number on the upper right corner when you submit documents by post or in person, okay? In the envelope, just write your ID and your name just to make sure that they know who are you and what's your number. The documents that are not permitted to be submitted through email or fax. These are proof of language proficiency, Korean or English, application for admissions, form 1, personal statement and study plan, letter of recommendation and consular reference, 
official high school graduation certificate and official high school transcript please post the original document after uploading the scanned file on the online application website when you send all your all your scanned files please make sure that you send your documents also through the post okay and if you're living outside of korea please make sure that you send them like at least a week before the deadline because who knows how long it will take to arrive to korea since also we have coronavirus going on so yes please make sure you do it beforehand then a copy of the applicant's passport other official document indicating the applicant's nationality Copies of both parents' passport, other official document indicating both parents' nationality, documents indicating parent-child relationship, portfolio records of achievement, as I said, like for College of Arts and Music and Physical Education, a school profile, standardized tests and other indication of academic achievement, supplementary material, awards, volunteer activities, etc. during high school, and explanatory statement. So these were the most important documents that need to be submitted. Also, application fee is $65. Also, this small note, if you don't have any access to internet during your application, you can send all your documents by mail and you need to send the bank draft of $65 is for application fee. Or you can visit SNU in person. And that would be great if you live in South Korea obviously but if not you can send them by post and that's all for international admission one and for international admissions two I will just put the screenshot of eligibility and requirements so you can take a screenshot of them so these are the eligibility and then here are the notes required documents other documents let's talk about scholarship because it's the most important and interesting topic for all the international students in case of SNU unfortunately SNU doesn't provide full funded scholarship however there is some type of scholarship and about scholarships I talked with my friends so you can check our video out now let's move to our small interview with my senior enjoy watching our small interview so hello everyone uh, my name is Hui uh, I'm from China and currently studying Seoul National University as a sophomore uh, I'm majoring in food and nutrition I was a senior of Buddhist uh, from KSA my admission process uh, I did it two years ago uh, June of 2018 and I kind of forget a lot of stuff. It was it was not that stressful for me because I kind of just try it if I can get it or not. And I got confident in myself. So I think most important one is the personal essay and the recommendation essay because the personal essay shows what kind of people you are. You literally just put yourself into the market huh. and then if it's shining, then everybody can see it. The second one is the recommendation letters. I did my recommendation letters from my school counselors and also the academic teacher. Mm -hmm. I got two letters from them. And then you, uh, I submit my topic test result. Mm -hmm. I didn't submit any English preference results. That's also okay. Uh, you rather are good at, good at English or in Korean. So, as I remember, there are like three questions. The first one is they ask about your major, like the interest. What what's the preparation for your interest, and what what's your plan for then major studying and research. And they ask about your school life. Third one they ask about your life, like what the hobbies or what you're really good at. I think that's it. For me, I didn't have any interviews for SNU admission. I'm not sure about other students. Uh, as I know, nobody gets interviewed. For the senior students who is applying for SNU, each country has their own like own grade systems. So as so, uh, 
for me, I study in Korea and have the Korean GPAs. I think it's kind of good, good factor, key factor, because it shows how good academically you are. Good school need good students. You still want to come to come to SNU? Yes. Mm, that's a dream. That's a daydream. Don't do How it. How about you say like you can do your best by you no. know like writing? It's not. It's not my. It's not my. Award. Not my okay. opinion. It's not my opinion. <laughs> okay. Okay. Otherwise, you have a, you're good at something else. You're really good at something else. You have your. But that dream doesn't work. Yeah. Mm. So it's like you're good at singing. Okay. Sports or music or art. You can apply for it, but if you want to graduate, the academic knowledge is needed. Okay. Firstly, SNU is a national school, so compared to private school, private universities, it has a lower uh, tuition fee, so maybe two times lower. Mm -hmm. uh, so for scholarship, uh, I didn't get any scholarship. And I tried to apply for one international scholarship. I didn't get it because of my low GPA, in my first year in college. So, if you get, if you get after you get in universities, you you need to have good grades to get scholarship. I think it's above at least above three point five. So Why? basically. You can apply for scholarships, and there are lots of them. But you need to have specific GPA, right? I think so. Okay. I think the most important part, uh, the tips, it's about the private as the personal essay. You have to write it with your heart. Mm -hmm. I wrote it in one night, and that time it was like I got the inspiration that night. So I just write it like. The true myself. I wrote it. The true me into the essay. I think that's a good factor. Good tips. Don't let anyone else write your essay. Mm -hmm. You have to write the true yourself, and they will see the points of you. First, I think uh, as a student who graduated from KSA uh, and as a foreigner who's studying abroad, wherever you're studying, as a Student who lives abroad. That's also that's always been the question. But what I think it's if you're studying in some in that country, you have to try to feel into the culture by yourself. Try to work on it, and then try to talk to the people around. The university is like a different situation from high school. Mm -hmm. You kind of half step into the society. So you might meet a lot of people who is way older than you, and as a foreigner, of course it's hard at first. It's always being hard, but you have to try your best to feel into that culture. Don't escape. So there's no like isolation parts uh, unless you accept yourself into that environment. Mm -hmm. But for SNU. The uh, students around and the professors are all Koreans, so there are not much international international students here. So the professors also see me. The students see me as a Korean. They just see you as foreigner, but they don't put too much in, like emotions and thoughts in it because you're here to study. We all here to study. My first year in SNU, I got a huge stress in my life, and it's like uh, I never had that stress before. So it basically into I think it's two reasons. So first reason it's uh, I think it's the life, the different lifestyle. So I live in dorm before, even though I'm in Korea and in high school, but now I'm in university. I live like outside alone. So uh, I there are a lot of new things, new challenges for me, and I like I never been to Seoul. Mm -hmm. I live in Seoul. So it's like everything is new. You have to deal with a lot of different problems and people around. The second stress was the academic stress I had because, as I mentioned, I like the competition around. It's like they're all Koreans. They use their own language, their mother tongues to study as a foreigners. 
try to compete with them. And also they are they are like the elite elite kids. So, yes, very smart. So basically the main stress is because of uh, academic life and also personal life. Yeah, you know. Yeah, personal life. Okay, this is all for our questions. So let's just answer it to a few comments. I like Korean food because I've eaten for years. Mm-hmm. But I better I'm better with Chinese food. But they they have Chinese restaurant everywhere here. Yeah. So, yeah, I, and nutritionally it's kind of healthy. Uh-huh. It's a little bit less of protein. Yeah. yeah. And too much of carbohydrates, but yeah. That's like a comparatively good diet. Mm-hmm. Korean food as a measuring of food and nutrition. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have diet yourself? I have tried diet and it, it worked. Nice. This the lectures mostly it's in Korean. I mean first two years I guess. Mm-hmm. And like uh when you when times goes on, time goes on. When times goes on in the second third year and fourth year, it depends on major, but most of the scientific majors The lecture will be in, but not the professor will speak Korean, but everything else, the sources, the resources, the PPTs and the books, textbooks will be all in English. Mm-hmm. But it's really hard. As I mentioned, there's not a lot of international students here. Um, I think not only study year gap, I mean a year gap, but it also has a sem- semester gap. So if you like mostly for Korean men, They need to go to army, so it's like kind of hard to manage the time in high universities. Mm-hmm. So they choose to go gap years, also for women, like girls also. If you feel too stressed, what mostly people does, yeah. <laughs> just take a gap year or a gap semester. That's all people do, and people f- like thinks it's a pity not to have a gap year in university. Yeah, that's what they think. Oh, so as living outside, it's like a big, big money budget for me. Um, but I, I have a part-time job, which is not officially. I teach Chinese to the people around. Yeah, and school doesn't really care about it. I mean, they don't. There, there's no rules about it. You can just go freely working. Okay, so there's no specific rules for you from your university about the part-time job, right? Yeah, that's right. Okay. It's a hard question. For me, as a member of, as a student in SNU, I feel proud for my school. And I can say, SNU is better than KAIST. Oh my God. <laughs> uh, it depends on different fields. For KAIST, uh, it's really good at, like, it's science and technology stuff and I respect that <laughs> as it is a not bad choice like like uh, if you want to study like have good grades and learn a lot of things and also you want to enjoy the university life come to as a KAIST you want to be a scientist you want, you want to be like NASA working NASA or something <laughs> KAIST is better okay I respect both of them so If you think you're special, come to SNU. I'm coming. <laughs> Thank you and bye bye. Good work. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, it's recording. You sure it's recording? <laughs> Think. <laughs> Shit, I was talking something nice. <laughs> But I don't know you just said. It's an institution for science and technology. So, as a normal universities, yeah. <laughs> uh, what was the question? <laughs> But if you wanna, if you want to, like, enjoy the the university life by drinking alcohols, hanging out with friends, <laughs> you can. <laughs> Okay guys, I think that's all for this video. If you have any questions, please 
please email a senior for further information because I am not a senior student so I feel so bad if I give you some information but then it turns out false so please make sure that you email them even though if you feel like you are being annoying be annoying they like students like that don't be scared don't be shy just email and all the emails are in the description box and you can also contact my friend if you have any questions related to life or like admissions you also can leave your questions in the comment section please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to turn on your bell notification so you won't miss my new videos thank you for watching don't forget thumbs up and see you in the next video bye